Alright everybody, this is 22408 Aaron, and I personally think it's been a while, a very long time, I finally feel that it's time for System Test 5. Alright everybody, as you can see here's a panel, it's a Siemens SXL-EX, a very reliable panel by the way. As you can see, same panel, kind of dirty, messy as far as the wiring, but then again, we kind of, as of now, we're doing the wiring, so that may change. We got working batteries in here now. The problem is, they're not installed, to the panel at least, because they used to be, but, you know, as I was working on this, focus, I was unscrewing this in the resistor for NAC number one fell off the face of the earth apparently because I cannot find it so yeah um, that's a big problem <laughs> I just haven't had time to go get another resistor yet which is kind of annoying but I will get one soon hopefully <laughs> I'm probably just going to order it online it'll be cheaper alright now let's get to the alarms and poles first off we got the a FCI MS6 which is a real ripoff of the BG8 and there's another oh, a pull station that's a very real ripoff of the BG8 and you'll see that shortly that is dusty as you can see yes this has been sun bleached pretty bad look how orange that is another thing I mean I'm not completely sure why they didn't choose to um put the um like put the fire on like the MS2 did, they did but I don't know I don't own FCI so I can't make any of those business decisions and as you can see we did add zone labels and up there we got a Wheelock RS over here we've got I don't know, this is, the, this is a Gainwell pole station. It may say on the inside. Let's see. Yes, this is being held on by tape. Actually, no, this is Sentry. No, the Gainwell Sentry, that's what it is. Now, as you can see, this is being held on by Tyvek tape. Tyvek tape being tape that the company DuPont makes. My dad works for a distributor, and he gets these samples, and they're actually quite nice, so, you know... Swings and roundabouts. As you can see, this has clearly seen some use. And since there's a gasket behind here, and it says inside, where did it say? Ah, suitable for outdoor use with a gasket. This thing's probably been outside, so that explains this. And I cannot use this, not because I don't have a screw for it. I do have the bit for it. The problem is, it's rusted there. I mean, there's no way to move it. I can't remove it, I can't do anything. I'm going to see what I can do, probably take it to metal shop and, you know, get it removed, but as of now, nothing can happen, and as you can see, all the paint's worn off, and, yeah, that's what happens when you put a pole station outside for a lot of years, <laughs> and up here we have a system sensor, hang on, I'm going to get the box, that's, that's where the model number is, See here, where's the bar? There we go. It's CH2415. So it's a chime strobe and it's doing the low frequency thing. You'll hear it. Alright. Oh, yeah, another thing. This is the Edwards back box that we had up. I took it down because I wanted to put like something like this up, but later realized that this will fit on an Edwards back box, so I was kind of annoyed that I actually took it down to put it up, but. Hey, at least it's more versatile. Now, right here we have an actually really rare pull station, to my knowledge. That's right, it's an Elenco 5D. Not the 5C, the 5D. I don't know the difference, but it says 5D. Local fire alarm, yes. And actually, before we get on to this, I'm just going to tell you right now, this game on Pulse Station came with a broken um, switch. In fact, I'll show it to you when we go back over there. But since we have so many 270 SPLs, it's frightening. I took one, removed the switch from it, and put it in here. They indeed take the same switch. 
which was good. <laughs> and as you can see, here is the G70 SPO I removed it from. After removing it, I noticed it says local alarm, so I may put this up if you want to. It also has the brake rod, which I will remove. And something just fell, the brake rod fell out. And here's the original switch. You can see it does not have any guts to it. It's broken. Um, see right here is the 5D. As you can see, it's on a very wide extender plate. I don't know why it's so wide. This came with it, this bo this extender plate. This box we have, this is actually a wheel lock box. The exact same thing as one of these boxes, really. It's even a Steel City, to my knowledge. Just like this, except it's painted red. Can I say marketing scam? Can, can I say, can you say marketing scheme? I know I can. <laughs> um... It used to, it came with red screws, but when you have a brother that doesn't figure out where he puts the screws, it gets really annoying. That's why I took the screws from that box, because I could not find another two more screws that fit. I didn't want to strip it out, since this is a cool back box. This came from a building demolition. Um, 1730 North Lynn Street. Go do a search on my channel, you'll see it. And I also added something. Actually, we're going to look at this. This is a Wheelock Exceeder. The LED version. Actually, I, I don't think it says wheel lock on it anywhere. That's how we got it so cheap. And, you know, you know that's on like, but actually, let's see if we tighten this. There we go. Alright. It doesn't say wheel lock anywhere on it. That's why I think that's how we got it for 12 bucks. But, nonetheless, it works very well. One thing we added, or I added, was a magnet, an LCN, a magnet that'll hold the door open, which has been replaced. And no, this doorknob does not work, it has a bit broken on it. And this is the panic where I'm thinking about replacing it, since this one gets stuck sometimes. I replaced it with this one, which is a lot nicer, and it also comes with a hex key lock. So yeah, I'm definitely going to put that back up, just a push to exit button. Um, up there is a Edwards Integrity remote strobe, 1575 Candela. I'm going to turn this off, I don't need it on. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what, let's prop the door. This is connected to the fire alarm system, so it will close when the fire alarms go off. Alright. And over here we got a Silent Night pull station. I don't know the model number of this. It's kind of cool though. Look, I'm gonna look at my thumb. Watch this. It gets really reflective when you have liquids on it. You can't really see it on camera, but in person you can. So this is addressable, but the addressable module is not there anymore. It's got a very weird key switch, a keyhole, and I'll show you that when I turn it. Here we just have a Spectre Alert classic strobe only. And last but not least, over here we've got this Honeywell pull station. I do not know the model number of this. Very good condition. Over here we have a Mercom alarm. I don't know the model number of this either. I'm not very big on model numbers, so that's why I don't hear a bunch of model numbers from me. So, let's pull it. is loud. Alright, since I don't have a little thing to stick into it, I just take this screwdriver here. There's a little tab on the back, just push that. Look at that switch. And there we go.
Alright, now let's pull the Silent Night pull station, which is another blatant ripoff of the Firelight BG-8. Here we go. This one I need the keys for, and I'm gonna find the Silent Night key. At first, we thought this key wouldn't work, and that is until I realized that you know you cannot put any force onto the keyhole when you're turning it. Here, let me show you when I get this reset. I'm gonna need to lubricate that keyhole, but watch this. So you see how you typically put a key in and you want to push it and turn it? You can't with this one; it won't move. What you have to do is just lightly like, stick it in and lightly turn it. See? This is a very finicky keyhole. See, look. I hate this keyhole. Now we're going to pull this, the fire, uh, the FCI MS6, once I find the FCI key. Here we go. Here we go. That's a very hard pull station to pull, by the way. See? MS6. At first when we got this, the keyhole did not work. I tried many different methods, it did not turn at all. Then I started opening it up, closing it, trying to see the button. And then I stuck the key in again, and it worked absolutely fine. So, I don't know what I did. I must just have the, the special powers. <laughs> like, we'll pull this again, just for the heck of it. Very hard pull station to pull. Uh-oh. It's being the way it is. It's not letting me do it. Let's see here. Oh boy. This is not the greatest keyhole. There's your dog barking. Now we're going to pull one of my favorite pull stations, the Gamewell Century. And here we go. Look how dirty that is. Very loud and very, very annoying. Last but not least, it's gonna be the 5D. My dad's probably getting tired of this, so this one I'm gonna reset it quickly. I don't need these anymore, so I'm going to put these right here. Now, where is the Phillips head? There it is. C5D. You can kind of see it. Elko Inc., Washington, D.C. Pretty cool label. And see the door will not latch.
happens. All right. So now it's, I guess, time to talk about future plans, if any, for the fire alarm system. And that goes off. I hate that. First off, we're going to be putting a, an alarm up there. What's going to do for this system, but when you realize you don't have enough wire to stretch over to that back box over there, you're kind of out of luck. So, kind of disappointing. I was going to put the Commander 3. You can see the back plate right there. And somewhere over here is the alarm itself. There it is, right there on the ground. I gotta wait for the zone six to, or the trouble six to go off. But yeah, I mean, it's been a long, long time since I've done a fire alarm system. And maybe one of the future plans I'd like to do is be able to control the fire alarm system from a computer. At least, act, reset, drill, maybe not drill, and silence. I mean, it looks like all you have to do is find the correct pins. Then, also, like, put, like, a relay or something. I don't know, but I do want to do it. And, yes, this is not wanting to go back in there. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'd love to do a lot more, but I guess that only have, I guess we can only see that what happens in the future. But as for now, this is a pretty nice system, and I want to get more alarms. That's one thing I do want to do. There's a really long VGA, cable. and there goes the hammer I was using last night. My dad's old hammer. There's a long VGA cable that I got actually got Goodwill for like three bucks. And it's gonna be running to this laptop right here that we're not using anymore. Alright. So I guess that will be it. Thank you for watching. And I'll tell you what. We'll just see look. You have to slam on it. But as of now. We just have the strike plate a lot. We're turned on. And this TV. I really don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it looks nice the way I mounted it. Alright, and that'll be it.